Welcome to my channel, Dr. Gold. Today we will talk about acute lymphoid leukemia. Firstly, we will discuss about uh, leukemia. Uh, definition Leukemia is a cancer of uh, the white blood cells characterized by a rapid growth of abnormal cells. These are normal cells as well as abnormal cell production which increase white blood cells. So, types of leukemia. And there are two types of uh, leukemia lymphoid leukemia, myeloid leukemia. A lymphoid leukemia further divided into acute lymphoid leukemia and chronic lymphoid leukemia. Myeloid leukemia is further divided into acute myeloid leukemia and chronic myeloid leukemia. Today we will talk about acute lymphoid leukemia. So first uh, let's start uh, to discuss about uh, acute lymphoid leukemia. First definition, acute lymphoid leukemia is a type of leukemia. Uh, our um, ALL is a malignant, malignant disease of a bone marrow in which early lymphoid precursor that is lymphoblasts proliferate and replace the normal hemopoietic cells of the marrow. You see in a given picture lymphoblast. So <clears throat> acute lymphoid leukemia mostly present in children. Remember that. So causes or and risk factor of acute lymphoid leukemia. The exact cause is unknown, but some risk factor that lead to LL. First, uh, intense radiation, benzene, human T cell leukemia virus, some family history, also posterior any cancer treatment, and uh, also occurring mostly occurring children. Clinical presentation of acute lymphoid leukemia. The overproduction of white blood cells can decrease other cells production in bone marrow lead to if uh, there is a decrease uh, a production of uh, platelets so it may lead to uh, thrombocytopenia that can cause ecchymosis and bleeding. If uh, there is a decreased production of white blood cells so it may lead to anemia the symptom of anemia is fatigue increase heart rate and shortness of breath. If there is decreased production of white blood cells, so it may lead to infections due to immature and non-functional white blood cells. Also, uh, other clinical symptoms are clinical features which include swollen lymph node, fever, sudden loss of weight, night sweats, and hepatosplenomegaly. Leukostasis. Leukostasis is a condition characterized by extremely elevated blood cells count that accumulate in vessels and lead to blocked blood vessels. It mainly occurs in heart, brain, as well as in lungs. Remember, leukostasis in LL occur when the white blood cell is greater than 4, 400,000. So, if uh, there is uh, occlusion occur in heart, you see collagen in heart, so it may lead to uh, myocardial infarction and heart failure. If uh, there is a collagen occur in brain, so it may lead to brain infarction, headache, focal neurological deficits, also seizures and coma. So if there is a occlusion occur in lungs, so in occlusion <coughs> in lungs occur, so it may lead to dyspnea, hypoxemia diffuse alveolar hemorrhage and also respiratory failure so the next one is we will talk about diagnosis of acute lymphoid leukemia the best initial test is complete blood count which show lymphoblast in blood decrease hemoglobin decrease platelets and increase white blood cells investigation of choice for acute lymphoid leukemia is bone marrow aspiration in bone marrow expression, <clears throat> take marrow sample from iliac crest <clears throat> and um, marrow contain lot of lymphoblast present. So terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase which is TDT, the marker of pre T cells and CD10 plus terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase positive is the marker for of pre B blasts. Treatment of acute lymphocytic leukemia. So, uh, is the diagnosis made? We should start treatment at the same day. 
the main treatment for ALL is chemotherapy if uh, it's failed go for bone marrow transplant chemotherapy has four have four phases first induction chemotherapy second consolidation chemotherapy third maintenance chemotherapy fourth one a central nervous system for prophylaxis first induction phase uh, four weeks admit the patient in hospital and start drugs like one christine steroids which is dexamethasone L aspergenase and methotrexate in consolidation phase uh, the goal of this phase is to kill any remaining leukemia cells some drugs used in induction phase also add a citrobine ectoposide 6 mercaptopurine chemotherapy give over a 6 6 to 9 months periods maintenance phase once patient have completed intensive chemotherapy they need to take oral pills for an additional 8 to 24 months methotrexate and 6 mercaptopurine Prognosis In LL, prognosis is poor if age is less than 1 and greater than 10 and if increased white blood cell greater than 50,000, presence of Philadelphia chromosome 9 to 22, also CNS involvement at the time of diagnosis. So here is a, uh, a clinical question for all of you. A 5-year-old child was admitted with history of feeling tired and lethargic all the time, bleeding gum and sore throat since the last 3 months on examination hepatosplenomegaly. Please answer me in a uh, comment box. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.